Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel and looks like we got a really beautiful day out here in Central Oregon so I grabbed the dogs and we're just gonna head out and find a spot out in the desert somewhere to spend the night hopefully uh, maybe catch some good landscape photos or but mainly I just want to get away for an evening All right, so I'm just kind of cruising down this old power line road here. I'm in an area I'm not really familiar with, or I mean, I've kind of camped in this vicinity, but not back in this specific uh, location here where I'm at. But uh, I'm just using an app on my phone called Backcountry Navigator. Uh, it's a, basically a topo mapping software, and I've downloaded all this area to the phone, so that way I don't even need to have signal but I'm just kind of using it and I've kind of got a spot in mind that I'm going to try to get to from here and uh, we'll just kind of see if we can get there. Okay, so I found a spot where I think I might camp uh, it's level and you know it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit but there's uh, definitely some potential for some good evening photos here uh, not exactly happy about the firewood situation but it's it's definitely workable but I'm gonna just get something to eat because I haven't ate much today so I'm gonna start with something to eat and then I'm gonna start working on build put my camp <laughs> All right, so I've kind of rushed around here a little bit. I've got the wheeling set up. I've got a stack of firewood that should definitely last me tonight and tomorrow. And I, I will definitely be needing that firewood because I'm gonna build a fire here and uh, we're gonna do some cast iron cooking tonight. But the reason why I've been kind of rushing around is the sun's getting to a point now where I really want to get out and set up for a nice evening uh, photo shoot. So, I don't have as many rocks here as I'd like to have gathered over here for a fire pit and I don't kind of have everything set up as well as I want but it's going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait because I need to get my pack on, I need, I need to get my camera gathered up, my pack on and I need to get uh, to a location. Alright so I'm getting ready to take off here from the truck so I'm going to get my ECS on. Uh, I'm going to grab my low pro pack here, I've got my camera gear, my tripod and everything in it and we're going to try to take off and there should be a spot i think from what it looks like on the map a nice little spot that i can get a nice shot uh 
couple hundred yards away from here. Now, if you guys watched my last video, you saw where I kind of talked about this whole setup, what I've got in my uh, low pro bag, and also what I have in my vest. So, basically, same gig, and uh, we're ready to go. All right, so I've got my spot set up here. I'm out overlooking this really cool canyon and everything, and I think it's going to be a really nice shot. The sun's just dropping over there, and what I'm hoping for is that it will shine across and put some light on these canyon walls over here, and that's what I'm kind of waiting for. But unfortunately, the sun's behind a cloud right now, and I'm really hoping this cloud is going to move out of the way before the sun goes down over the hill, which um, it's pretty dang close to doing. So uh, we're just going to kind of hang out here and uh, wait on it. All right, so now you can see that the sun's kind of come out behind that cloud and it's lighting up the hillside really nice. I've taken my shots that I want out of here, but I'm going to go ahead and hang out just a bit longer, just in case uh, as the sun goes down, we get a little bit more, more color in the sky. I'm just gonna head on out. Um, the sun's still kind of up as you can see, but I think I got the shots that I'm after and uh, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to camp since I'm not quite completely set back up at camp and finish, uh, finish getting my camp set up. But I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna come back here in the morning and the sun will be coming up obviously from the east and uh, hitting that canyon a little bit differently so we'll uh we'll check on it tomorrow and we'll see if we can't shoot it again that is of course if the sun's even out but uh right now it looks like looks like it should be now but i haven't actually checked the weather report to see All right, so I finally got myself to a point where I can kind of settle down for the evening. You know, I was kind of busting butt there against the light to try to get finish getting the camp set up. And But now I've got a nice fire going. It's nice and warm. I've got my Pendleton in a water bottle. Um, I did find my flask, so that was good. I just bet I still had Pendleton in this water bottle from the last trip, so we'll continue drinking it until it's gone. But <clears throat> I'm planning on a really good dinner tonight. I've got everything all prepared in these bags. I've got three different, three different bags here. We have onions, serranos, and garlic in this bag. Uh, we have mushrooms and zucchini in this bag. And uh, in this bag we have some uh, sausages of some sort, uh, some some type of like, uh, I don't know, Cajun sausages that I picked up at the grocery store. And somewhere else, oh, and to just kind of flavor it a little bit, we have a little red wine, again, in a water bottle. So once uh, the fire dies down a little bit, we'll get the cast iron skillet out and start cooking some dinner.
All right, so uh, <clears throat> starting to get dinner going here. We got the cast iron skillet. Got it cooking some sausages over the uh, coals here. Once they're kind of nice and browned up, we'll we'll start adding some of the other stuff. All right, so now I want to add a little of this red wine. I put the garlic and onions and um, yeah, garlic and onions and serranos in there. So I'm going to add a little of this red wine. And then of course we're going to have a little red wine. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really like cooking this way when I'm out here. Just you know, you spend a few minutes at home. You cut, you get everything cut up. You put it in the bags. That way, when you're out here, there's no mess. And in a few minutes, you got yourself a totally excellent dinner. So yeah, stoked about this. Like I said, mountain houses are good, they're handy, but this is gonna be good. Alright, so I'm getting up this morning, I got out and uh, let the dogs out, and I'm kind of back in, I'm getting things straightened up and getting changed uh, into my outdoor clothes. Uh, I've got my coffee is boiling, I turned on the heater, I don't know, about a half hour, 45 minutes ago, warmed up the tent and got my water going over the top like I like to do, so it's ready to go and uh, I'm just gonna make it real quick get changed and uh, hop out uh, it's a little bit overcast so I kind of slept in this morning didn't get up and and do a sunrise photo like I'd planned but that's okay got a good sunset one so we'll just uh, work with that <laughs> good.
I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and share, as your interaction really motivates me to continue to produce this type of content. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the channel, click the Patreon link in the description to find out how. And I'll see you again outside.